We monitor nearly 100 infectious diseases, and diseases always have a time and place. So software such as Esri ArcGIS allows us to really add this additional dimension to um, disease investigations. Um, we're able to better understand spatial patterns, temporal patterns, uh, to be able to pinpoint the source um, of an outbreak, for example. During the summer of 2015, there were over 130 cases of Legionnaire's disease. Because we had so many cases, um, we were able to leverage this dual tool and pinpoint um, amongst all these cases where the median center was. And I distinctly recall seeing the median center of these cases being very close to a suspected cooling tower, which um, ended up being the source of um, the outbreak. Additionally, we were able to develop these very cool time-enabled video maps using Esri ArcGIS and it was really interesting because, you know, it was time enabled. So early on in the outbreak, we were able to see that cases early on were very close to the cooling tower. And as time progressed, we saw more and more cases radiate away um, from that cooling tower. And our suspicions was back, were backed up with molecular testing. I think we must have developed over 100 maps throughout the outbreak, developing maps daily for different political jurisdictions, as well as for internal and external consumption, such as media outlets. You know, I really wanted to leverage GIS because, you know, we had patient residences. Um, so we had all this data that was almost like trapped in a database. And by leveraging GIS, we were able to allow the data to tell the story it was meant to tell.